What's up guys, it's 3rd Mario Brother, back again with more Sonic Heroes. In the last part, we finished the tutorial, and watched some cutscenes. In this part, we're going to start on the story. Oh my god, spoilers for the other teams. As you can see, Team Sonic... I'll explain the teams real quick. Team Sonic is mostly speed-based gameplay, more true to the original Sonic, it's like medium difficulty. Team Dark is speed-based gameplay, but with a whole bunch of enemies thrown in, so it kind of slows down the gameplay, because you have to stop and fight a lot. They're basically the super difficult mode. And Team Rose is for babies, I guess. And Team Chaotix is bonus bonus times, but we're going to start with Team Sonic traditionally, because I am a linearist. Okay, right. <coughs> okay and we have a cutscene. Hey, CG cutscenes actually look pretty great. Yo, Tails! Long time no see! A moving piece of paper. What is this, Harry Potter? I like how they even capitalized heroes in that, referencing their own title. Like an invitation to party. What are we gonna do, Sonic? <laughs> no worries. Speed rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Think I missed this? Time to crack that Eggman wide open. Yeah, let's party. Um, guys, guys. Guys, the plane. You forgot about the pl You forgot the plane. Where's the plane? Okay. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter to me if you guys hate your money. But anyway, this is stage one, Seaside Hill, and we're finally going to be able to see some awesome gameplay. And um, I am going to be trying to get all A ranks on the, the missions that I do do. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the bonus missions. I don't think so. But if you want to get all A ranks, you have to get a lot of points and finish the stages very quickly. And I'm not showing how to do that very well so far. But you're going to want to do that ring dash as often as possible. Um, and when you kill enemies, if you kill a certain amount of enemies in a certain amount of time, then you will get points. Like I think if you kill two enemies in the certain amount of allotted time, whatever it is, I'm not sure right off the top of my head, then you get 400 points, three enemies 800 points, four enemies 1000 points, and five enemies 2000 points. So you're definitely going to want to judge when you want to kill your enemies. Like right here, I'm gonna get a thousand points, really easy, because they were all grouped up. And if you know the levels beforehand, it's easier to get point combos because you know where all the enemies are gonna be and stuff like that. And yeah, might I say that the voice acting game, the voice acting in this game is completely 100% rubbish. I love this game, it's really, really fun, but the voice acting is terrible, especially for, well, the flying characters, I guess. Uh, Tails is really high-pitched and annoying, especially for Guy. There's Cream, who's really high-pitched and annoying and super shy and annoying and annoying and annoying. I think this was before the 4Kids dubs, but I don't know, it sucks. Anyway, there's a bobsled thing. Press A to jump. Don't know why you'd want to jump in that little section, though. Uh, those rings there, if you fly through them, with the first character, you get 1,000 points. Any character who flies in after that, you get 800 points for. What? Tails. Uh, yes. Let me also explain. If, say, Sonic's the leader and Tails gets hit by something, you won't lose your rings like you normally would. But you but that character will be immobilized for a short time and can't be used in team attacks such as thunder shoot where tails shoots everybody and fly up here those rings will propel you through stuff sonic games are a lot more complicated than i remember and how did i not get hit there oh well works for me <laughs> I'm not going to risk a ring dash here, because sometimes it can glitch out and throw you off the edge. That's the thing about this game, one of the biggest gripes I have about it. It is really, really, really glitchy. A lot more glitchy than it needs to be. Actually, no game needs to be glitchy in any way, but... Yeah. 
Um, since I'm trying to A rank everything, I'm gonna, at the start of a level, I think I'm gonna put the A rank requirement in points. And for, and I'll also put the A rank requirement for the uh, bonus mission because after you finish a mission in story mode, you unlock it in challenge mode. And in challenge mode, each stage has a bonus mission that you can play through and also get an A rank on. And for Team Sonic, the requirement for getting A ranks on bonus missions is uh, beating it in a certain amount of time. So at the beginning and end of this stage, there will be an annotation showing how much, po how many points you'll need for an A rank on the original mission and how much time it'll, how much how much time you're allowed to finish in for an A rank on the bonus mission. I hope uh, that didn't sound too incredibly informative, because this is Sonic Heroes, and heroes do not talk in long sentences. Heroes run up and down loop-de-loops, which defies the physical forces of nature and all that sort of stuff. And usually here, you're supposed to do a Rocket Excel, but that doesn't always kill them, and I want to get all the points, and Team Blast, because Rocket Excel really isn't reliable, and sometimes I get hit when I'm doing a Rocket Excel there. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, run around this loop-de-loop, -loop, and be sure to use your Team Blast um, before you start getting near the end of this stage, because you get a Team Blast right up before the end of the stage, and yeah, things, important words. Right there is where you get it. Whoops. I'm gonna... Whoa, almost got hit, but okay, activate the Team Blast. Looks like Team Sonic's blasting off again! Whatever. Um, break that. Nothing there. If you go down this hole, I think I'll be able to keep my A rank if I do this. You get a 1-up. So, that's pretty nice. And that does it for the first stage of the game. Yeah, I get that little jingle at the end of everything, and I think that's an A rank. That is an A rank. That was tight. That was tight. <laughs> and you collect emblems for every stage you beat in this game. And I'm going to be skipping these saving screens from now on. Well, not skipping them, cutting them out. Some of the loading times in this game can be kind of odd, I guess. Escape from the ancient ruins. There's something I noticed about the objectives mission in this game. First of all, why does it exist? Because for every team except Team Chaotix, you're just going point A to point B. And, um, so it's kind of pointless to have objectives on e anything but Team Chaotix, but, aw, oh, darn it, I missed that. Oh well. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can break those doors with knuckles. But, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, about the objective system in this game. It seems for Team Sonic and Team Rose and even Team Dark, I think, it'll be like the first act of a stage. I, that's how I'm going to refer to them as. Like, this is the second act of stage one, I guess. The first act of a stage, it'll be like, enter the ancient ruins, and the second act, it'll be escape the ancient ruins, and in between, it's not really shown that you do anything, so, basically you're just going in and out of places for absolutely no reason, and it always confused me. I'm not gonna take that upper path, because there's quite a bit of a chance that you'll take damage. Let's break all these blocks with knuckles. Aw, oh, I thought I could get a light dash or whatever it is with Sonic there. Anyway, if you want to read about Triangle Dive, read it right below. Right on the bottom of the screen there. Yeah, bottom of the screen. Bottom of bottom of the screen there. And I guess you could have... No, no, okay. Yeah, sometimes um, Triangle Dive won't work properly. Anyway, if you come back... Whoa, that was weird. If you come back here, there should be a one-up, theoretically. Yeah, there it is. Just as I thought. <laughs> yeah, this game talks entirely too much. The game will be like, oh! Especially Tails. Oh my god. Wow, my head's spinning. 
Wow, I'm falling! Wow, my head's spinning! Ugh. It's like... Did they purposely make it terrible? I mean, Tails sounds so terrible in this game. Anyway, guess what, guys? Turtle time! Whatever. Uh, grab that checkpoint. Every checkpoint you get, the leader gets leveled up. I'm just gonna go the speed route here and just take out whatever enemies because I'm used to the speed route here. Boing. Oh, by the way, I grabbed a key from a cage earlier, and I bet you're all wondering so much. Where did you get that key? Um, keys will be scattered in cages throughout levels, and it's pretty much useless on the first act of a stage, because then you just go to this special stage and get some one-ups, but it's not like one-ups are a problem in this game. You don't really die all that much. And, but for the second act of the stage, they're actually very useful. Because you'll go to a special stage and you'll have to chase a Chaos Emerald, and a Chaos Emerald is required for some of the stuff in later in the game. So, yeah. Why can I not talk today? I don't know, I couldn't talk earlier. I tried to do a take of Super Mario Sunshine. I hate to be talking about these two LPs at the same time because this might be sometime in the future that you're watching this and I'll be confusing. You'll be like, Huh? What's Super Mario Sunshine? Ooh. But, um. But yeah, I tried to do a take of Super Mario Sunshine last night, and I fell off a cliff, and then I was like, oh, I'll just start talking when I get back to the top of that cliff that I need to be at. And I didn't start talking until it, it was like 14 minutes on the timer. I, I fell off the cliff at like 13 minutes, or 12 minutes, and it was 14 minutes on the timer by the time I started talking again, so I had to scrap that. But, boot anyway. There's uh, another checkpoint. Oh boy, this part. This part can be very, 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 very glitchy. And since we're past all the keys in this stage, it's not good. If you get hit, you automatically lose your key, so... Sometimes this part will automatically, like, slow you down. Do weird things like that. And you'll get hit by it. That would be very annoying if it happened right now, so please don't. I love how they acknowledge when two rocks come, but not when the third comes, even though that's kind of more important. And rocket excel into the goal! I love how they just, like, throw tails away. They're like, get out of here! What time are we up to? Yeah, okay. We're doing good. As long as this is an A rank. That is an A rank! Good, good, good. Oh, by the way, rings. Each ring is worth 10 points when you pick it up. Just saying. Just, just putting that out there. Putting that out there. Whatever. And here is the special stage for Act 1. Okay, maybe maybe I've been calling them wrong. Maybe it's like the second stage of Act 1. I don't know. Sonic terminology confuses me. Anyway, when you pick up these things, that meter in the top right of the screen will start filling up. And if you hold down B, you will boost. Stay in speed formation and just hold down B the entire time for that particular mission. And you will get the Chaos Emerald within a few seconds. Very easy. They will get so much harder as the game goes on. It's so much glitchier and it's really annoying. And after every two stages, I guess, there is a boss. And for this one, it is... Eight man. Whoa, what a surprise! We'll make fools of ourselves, says the one who's lost to Sonic at least a hundred thousand times. Anyway... We're gonna be fighting- we're kind of gonna be fighting this boss again at a later time in the game. Spoilers! Oh my god! I bet I just ruined the entire game for you guys. Because a lot of you are totally gonna be playing along with me, right? Actually, some of you might be, I don't know. Um... But yeah, this boss is pretty simple. He will stop at every one of these places, and usually I can get him here on the first one, just by spamming with Knuckles. Pretty easy stuff. Yeah. They got kind of lazy with the bosses in this game. It's... Eh, kind of weird. But, this is the end of this part of Sonic Heroes. I'll see you guys all next time, where we start the next set of stages. See you then.